Hi there, Darren Lutchner here from 365 Assist. In this video, what I wanted to do was to show you how you can use Dataverse choice columns in a Canvas app. So what I'm gonna show you is the way that you could use it in drop downs, combo boxes, and then show you how and how to use them in galleries. But more importantly, I wanna show you how to use them in collections. I came across a bit of an issue when I was trying to use it in a collection and then try to do a lookup on that and it caused some errors. So I thought I'd make a bit of a longer video about how to use it as a whole and then at the end show you the particular issue I showed in trying to use collections with lookups. So starting off, I've got just built a solution. In the solution, I've got a table of walls because I'm going to use colors on my walls. So if I open up my walls and I go to columns, in that column, I have a column called colors. And what I'm going to do, that's a choice thing. So if I open that up, it goes down and I go down to sync this level with a choice. Color labels, I've called it. I specifically call it saying it's not just color on color. It's something a little different. If I edit the choice, I get here this thing called color labels, which is a choice. If I just jump out of this and cancel that, it actually in my solution, it's actually also here in choices. So it's not a table. It's just a set of choices. And again, there's color label. If I click on it, I get that six colors that I've created. This is custom made. I created those six colors myself. So now I'm in my Canvas app. And what I usually do here is add the table that I'm using, the walls table that I'm doing. So I added that. But this is where I get a little confused sometimes. And uh, hopefully we can fix this up. Where over here I've now got, I've, I'm going to show you two drop downs and the two combos, the classics and the moderns. So if I go to the classic drop down, they're all pretty similar, just slight variations. The item, in the items uh, property, you want to have choices, which is a function and then use the color labels, which if I go back up here, it's either going to be the color labels in the column of colors, or if you're in a solution, you'll see the choices here, and that's the name there as well, color labels. I've done, that's what I've used, just to make it different than the column name, I've used color labels. And so if you put that in, if I hit the Alt key, you can see it drops down all the six colors. Over here on the right, just make sure value has a value in it. Well, that's the only option, but just make sure it's got that in there. Uh, the modern drop is a little bit different. The same items um, property is the same, but over on the right, if I go to edit, you may need to put add the field called value in there. And if I drop that down, they're there as well. And then the combo, same sort of thing with the combo, right? Items are there. If I go to the right, uh, the value's there and same with the modern, modern one, that's got the six there. And if I go to the edit, it's got the, the value in there as well. So that's pretty easy as far as drop down and combos are concerned. Now let's talk about a gallery. Now, obviously, because color, because choices, is it's basically a table, but it's not. It's not the table here. It sort of comes in as a, as a row of records, right? So again, just with any other gallery, you would do it similar. Similar as I did the drop down, so the items are choices. Right, there are choices here. And then the values you want to put into here, into the, I've just got a label, but it's this item dot value, right? So you've got the value in there if you want. All right, let's go to the next level. And this time what I wanna do is I wanna create a collection for the colors. So I've got a button here and in the button, I've got the standard clear collect. So what I'm doing is collecting called coal colors. And I'm just going to use the choices from that uh, color labels, just like I did before, because it's a table, right? So it should just go from table to table. Fantastic. And if I go then press that button and I go across here to the gallery. Yeah. And here in the gallery, I've got items called cold colors. Beautiful. All those colors have come up nicely in the gallery. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. The next step, what I wanted to do was using that collection. If I go back to that collection and I just have a look what's inside that collection and I drop down here, have a look at this. The values are not supported. They don't show the colors here. And in fact, if I go to the gallery here and open it up this way as well, I have these question marks. What is going on? Why can't it understand what they are? And in fact, what I tried to do then is go down to here to a label and create a label. And I did a lookup on that collection 
for the value where it equals red and I want it to replace. So I would hope that the word red would come here, but it didn't. If you have a look here, I've got a little error. And the error says it's incompatible types for comparison. These types can't be compared. An option set value to a text label. So I got really stuck with the next set of levels of trying to filter that collection. So here I've got you covered. I worked out how to get around that. And it all comes down to the way that that collection is created. So here's a button for another screen and I've created another collection. So clear collect. This time I've called it Coal Colors 2. And it's a little more complex to get those choices out. So I need to do it for all for the whole table to go around the whole table of those choices. And what I'm doing in that collection is I'm putting out a laugh called an option label. That's up to you what you want to use this to call this in the collection. And I've taken the text of the value and built it that way. So that's a little more complex to create the collection. It still creates the collection. So now if I look at what's in the, so I did the same with gallery. If I go to the gallery and colors too, beautiful, behaves just the same. If I go back to the collection and open that up, this time when I drop down, ah, that's better. Now I get to see the option labels here. And if I go down to the options here and the collection here, and I view the table, beautiful. There are the options there. That's what I want to see. Therefore, when I do a lookup for that, uh, I can now do a lookup and get the, the word blue. This time I wanted the blue one, so I can get that. So that's a nice workaround. So this is the code you want if you are using choices in an advanced collection and advancing that way. If you just want to use it in the gallery, go for it. But if you start to want to use that for filters and lookups and stuff like that for a, a choice column, this is the code when you're creating the collection. This is the code you probably want uh, to get. So hopefully that helped you out. So I hope that helped you in understanding how to use choice dataverse choice columns uh, across the board, especially doing those collections and lookups with that choice column. Um, please feel free to subscribe every so often I put a video that helps in, in this space. So uh, thanks for watching.